Hey, did you hear about this new raspberry lemon sour beer from Heavy Seas? Mm-hmm. Wait, what are you doing, man? Told you, Todd. I don't trust fruit with hair on it mm. or people without hair. <laughs> Welcome back to 1090. I am Andy. This is Todd, and welcome to a very special oh, yeah. edition of a beer review that we cannot wait to do for you from Heavy Seas. And this combination, I'm already liking it. Uh, lemon and raspberry sour, and the two flavors have always played nice together. Yes. You get the tartness from the lemon, and then the, the, just enough sweetness from the raspberries yeah. to kind of cut it. I'm already excited about yes. this. More excited though because this is extremely, extremely limited. Todd, tell us a little bit about why this is going to be so hard to get. So this is their new 15 barrel program. And so Heavy Seas has started this and their first beer off of this was back in March. It was Juice Cannon. It was basically their loose cannon with tangerine, uh, puree tangerine in it. And it was phenomenal. It really? sold out in less than 24 hours. And you can only get these 15 barrel brew house exclusives at the brewery. So April 5th, this Friday, so tomorrow, this will be on sale at the Heavy Seas Brewery. I guarantee it probably won't last a late weekend. And they're only producing 100 cases of yep. this. It. So when it's gone, it's gone. Go you can get it on tap and get and go in and you can actually grab them there. Now I know some of you who are outside of Baltimore are thinking, okay, not, not cool. But um, still, Heavy Seas is a type of brewery that if you can get your hands on anything that they do, yes. their beer is phenomenal. And this is just one addition to an already awesome fleet of beers that they produce. So. I can't wait to dive into this. I'm a huge sour fan. You are. Um, let's go. Let's, let's take a, little, a look at it. So this is a this. raspberry sour. So it's using a fresh raspberry and lemon in the brew. You can see it takes on that color. It's sort mm -hmm. of that sort of, I don't know, what do you want to call that? A sort of orangey-ish tinge to it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, almost like a little bronze kind of copper like look to it. You can tell they're using a lot, a lot of raspberries in this. There's a reddish hue that's definitely playing there. And it's got the, and you can, the, classic, the classic sour smell, yeah, that, that bread you can, yep. you can smell it. Four and a half percent. I can't wait to get into this. Yeah, let's let's go. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. Huh? Oh, I like that. How about, so, I'm not as probably as big of a sour fan as you. But right off the bat, it's not overpowering, okay? It no. does have that sort of tart lemon head-esque sort of mm -hmm. uh, quality to it that you expect in a nice you know sour beer but it's got that little bit of that sweet component i guess from the raspberries yeah and i and you know i was thinking it's already sour to begin with yep. because of the style oh. so i was intrigued by how mm. the lemons were going to play into mm. this because i thought maybe too sour mm -hmm. and we've tried some that are that are over the top sour that you just you oh, kind of yeah. can't certainly you can't finish them um but this is great because mm. the balance of the raspberry flavor that comes through here this is something you could take to the beach. You could, you oh, could that's uh, what I was exactly going to say. Out. I wish you could you know, get whatever. this. This is now. I'm actually we're going to have to go grab a couple of <laughs> yeah, these uh, um, tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, 100. This, this is really this is really nice. Really nice. Again, if you like sour beers, this is going to be right up your alley. Uh, and I think if you haven't had a sour beer, this isn't going to overpower you. We've talked no. about that. No, um, this this really is very easy drinking, mm. but true to the style, which is what I like. It's it's a classic. Sour beer, but yeah. there's nothing mm. in any way, shape, or form that would probably even a non-sour fan would really enjoy good. about this. It's this, really good. This is really well done. And you mentioned earlier that the two flavors, the raspberry and lemon, you said mm -hmm. go well together. They do. I agree, a hundred percent. You've got that again. Like I said, that tart up front from the lemon, and then that sweetness just comes back and, and sort of cleans your palate a little bit. Yep. It's perfect. It's so easy to drink. Another really cool thing about. Um, this new project is they've got local artists who are doing the designs on the can and uh, this is actually from Owen Murphy from One Drop Studios a lot of cool stuff that you can check awesome. out um, we'll link you to that as well uh, but but just cool can design a really nice take on a classic pairing the, the lemon and raspberry and I'm, I'm all about this this is I agree. This is money. And you know, I think we're going to probably have to go over there on Friday and get a few more of these because Heavy Seas, thankfully enough, sent us these two to review. And and I think we're going to make a trip over 
to Hailthorpe and, and get a couple. Yeah, I think it's I think it's on the radar. So beat, beat the rush. So despite my <laughs> lack of affinity for fruit with hair on it, <laughs> hopefully or, not. And people <laughs> without. Um, That's a good no, one there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> this this Amazing. this plays really well. Really so, so I am I'm I'm excited, and and not just that. I can't wait to see what comes out next because this is going to be an ongoing series. This 15 yes. barrel series is going to continue to produce some very unique and interesting beers and offerings. That typically they haven't done before because you've you've had their mainstay staples yep. and their seasonals. So yeah. this is this is really cool. This is experimental stuff from Heavy Seas, a uh, uh, flagship in Baltimore. Uh, Chris Leonard over there knows what he's doing. The brewmaster. Oh, it's a winner in my book. Definitely, definitely. We can't wait to see what. Yep. They so have thank been, you yeah. to all of our friends at Heavy Seas. Um, if you like what you see from Two Ten Ninety, as always, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell in the corner. It's going to let you know every time we got a brand new video. Certainly. We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, and Untapped, and of course we're going to put this puppy on there and tell you. Just what we thought about it. 100%. But I think you can tell we liked it, yeah? Definitely. I mean, so much we're going to go back and get more. <laughs> yeah. So until next time, um, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Sure. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Cheers, buddy. Mm. We definitely need more. Mm -hmm.